this is Julie with Be The Holique, and in this video I want to introduce you to these Impress Art Personal Impression Jewelry Kit Sets. So what these are, are they are actually little sets of five necklace kits. So these are great for gifts or bridesmaid jewelry, wonderful items that you can make for yourself and your friends. And so I have this gold plated one right here and I've opened up the silver plated one so you can see what it looks like. So you get five of these little stamping blanks. They are silver plated. They're 10 millimeters for the little uh, round circle one. And you get five necklaces and you also get five jump rings and they even give you a little sample test blank to practice on. So a really great little kit. And there's a couple different styles. You have a long rectangular bar and this one here measures 38 millimeters long and it tells you to use it with a 1.5 millimeter stamp. And you can kind of see here on their little illustration what that would look like. So great for writing a date or a name on it. And then there's also a narrower one up here. There's also a shorter one up here. And this is again a rectangular bar, but it's only gonna be 20 millimeters long. And then there's also a square and a square is 11 millimeter square. So you've got all these different sets. They are all a set of five little individual kits. They're all silver plated and gold plated and all the necklace chains are 18 inches. So really great item and you can make a lot of gifts with just one of these little kits. So I've already made a necklace using the circle. So here's a circle. I stamped the letter G for an initial on it there. So Georgia or Gina, whatever you might want. You see it's a really nice little, pretty thick, little blank and it's got that jump ring and a nice coordinating necklace with a lobster clasp. And so I'm going to make one here in this video. And so what you're going to need to do that is you're going to take one of your little kits that kind of comes with, you get five of them. And the jump ring is actually already on the necklace chain. Then you're going to need a stamping block. So I've got this two by two inch one and there's something special on the top. It's a little, actually it's a sticker. And what that is, is it is a scratch protector. Protector. You can get them in these little booklets. And everything you see here is available for sale at beetaholic.com. So if you want more information on any of it, please do check out our website and our listings. But to make the impression pop, I'm going to be using a stamp enamel marker. I'm going to be using this Genie stamp set, this alphabet one. So a lot of little lowercase letters here. I really like this font. So you can see what that font looks like. And then I'm gonna need a brass hammer and then just a couple pairs of chain nose pliers to open and close that jump ring. All right, let's begin. So whatever letter you want or letters, you can do someone's first and last name initials too, or you could do a date, whatever you may like. So I think I'm gonna do a, let's see, I think I'll do a J for my name, Julie. Okay, so I'm gonna put my blank right there on here. Now you can use the grid line to help you if you want. I mainly wanted it to act as a scratch protector. So it's doing its job. But I do find it easier if the hole is up top. Now when you're doing these stamps, what's really great about Impress Art is they put their logo on it and they put whatever the stamp is right down here at the bottom. So you always want that facing you. So then when you tilt it up, you know that it's oriented properly. So I'm just gonna to try to center this right on my stamping blank here. I'm kinda of gonna look at it from a couple different angles. Make sure it looks good. And I'm gonna give it one nice solid hammer. And there we go, and I've got a little J on there. And I like it just like that. I think it would be lovely as is, but if you want it to pop a little bit more, you can go ahead and put some of the stamp enamel in it. So if you're going to do that, make sure to cover your work surface. And have some paper towels. Shake up your marker. And before we, oh, you probably can't hear me over the shaking. Before we actually do it, I wanna show you the, the difference. So the G was filled in and the J has not been. And we're just going to put it right on top of our letter, just like that. So a little goes a long ways. And then we're gonna wipe it off in about one minute. We're only gonna wait a minute. As we are waiting, I wanna show you what also comes with your set. 
So you do get instructions, which is really nice. So whenever you get one of these little kits, it's gonna show you how you orient your hammer, how you open a jump ring, you close the jump ring. It's also gonna give you a little tip about the amount of force you use. So that's why they give you this little sample blank. So if you've never done stamping before, you can go ahead and practice how hard you wanna hit it. And also a little guide about how you properly open and close a jump ring. So if you are considering giving this as a gift, it's really nice that it comes with instructions. All right, let's put that away. I don't know, it's probably been close to a minute. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold it, trying not to touch the ink. It's not a big deal if I do, because we're just gonna wipe it off anyways. I'll just wipe it. There you go. And then kind of give your little stamping blank a little polishing while you're at it. And there we go. Now to add it to the chain, it's very, very simple. Just opening a jump ring. It is nice that these do come with jump rings. I like that. It's always fun when you get a kit and you don't need to buy any other supplies. You just supply the tools. Okay, so I've got that open. Just gonna slide. Oops, I am. Not giving myself enough room there. There we go. Close up that jump ring so the ends meet. And you have your finished necklace. And so I've got a J, I've got a G, and you can definitely pick whatever your friends' names are, or your children's names, your relatives, your bridesmaids, whatever you wanna do, definitely can customize. So that is how you go ahead and you personalize these wonderful little kits. I'm gonna show you them again. So you get five necklace kits within this one set, and they're really fun to do. A lot of different things you can do with them. And you can find them at beadaholic.com.